the video you're about to see almost didn't happen. In fact, this channel almost just closed down. Well, why is that? Well, I think I got a little too far too fast. Shouldn't you just be doing what you're doing? It's not like you're a million subscribers in. And you might be right. But I tried to do a lot of things so fast. And so I got extremely burnt out very quickly. And so my tip to any content creator out there who's really just starting, or if you've been in the business for 15 years, just take baby steps. And so that's what I did. This video took a few extra days, almost like a week to get published. And so there was a lot of, should I even edit? Am I creative enough? Do people even want to watch this? And there was a lot of else going on in my head that it was all mental. And so I finally said to myself, I got to just do what I want to do. I got to do what I like, something that I would watch. And so when you watch this video, this is exactly what I was envisioning. Nothing crazy, nothing over spectacular. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you take something out of it. And hey, if you're gig working today or if you're watching me at home, I hope you go and make that money. I hope you do well. And I hope I see you down the road. Good morning. It is your hybrid hustler on this Tuesday, February 20th, 2024. All right. So we started out, we woke up, we turned on DoorDash, we turned on Instacart, we turned on Spark. I wanted it to be an Instacart day. And what do you know? I never get an Instacart. I just don't understand. Not even Walmart Instacart offers, but we did get this Spark Sam's Club, $40. Says it's going like seven miles or something. It's very easy run. One of which is like around the corner from where I live. And then the other one is to a business that I go to all the time. So easy money. It is 10 of seven, which we got to pick up everything at seven o'clock. So let's go head over to Sam's Club, pick up the stuff, make this drop off and make an easy $40. It is cold out. We just picked up that Sam's order. I was the first ones the day they gave to, which is rare. I'll tell you something. It is 25 degrees right now, and it feels every bit of not only 25, but possibly even below zero. It is that cold. It's A-OK -okay though. We got everything packed up. Now we're in a warm car. Once we do this drop off, we get the next one, which is not too far. It's to a business, like I said. Uh, they're really cool though in there. So it should be an easy one. So let's do this drop off quickly because I don't want to be out in the cold too long. One chat with support because the address that was put in by the customer put in, they put in the correct address, but then they also added to the address and they put like Ryan Homes because it's a brand new development. But because of that, Spark thought it was a completely different area uh, about a mile and a half down. Because of that, I can't complete the order. So now I'm on chat now and they're asking me so many questions. I'm, I got gloves on. I'm trying to handle the delivery and it's like, why is it so difficult to just close out the order? You know where I'm at. And why do you need to know my name, my email address, my phone number? Why do you need to know the, the customer's name? I gave you all that information and then you have to ask it again. Unreal. Now they say, thank you. May I know if you tried to do a basic trouble? Oh my gosh, troubleshooting? I'm at the location I dropped it off. The address is, why is this so difficult? They now, they, they want to troubleshoot this app for me and log out and log back in. Just close out the order. I don't understand. This is, this is unreal that this has to be this difficult to drop something off. I know with DoorDash, you just tell them you did it and they'll be like, okay, this is unreal. They kept telling me, no worries, I'll do my best to help you out. May I know if your app is updated and you're using Android or iOS? It doesn't matter. 
I've been here so many times. This is a brand new development. I get it, it's brand new. So the GPS apps may not work all the way, but because they put a secondary, like they put on their, their address and then right below that or next to it says Ryan Homes, and that's the developer, sent me to a different Ryan Homes. But I know the address, I've been here plenty of times. This is, uh, this is a standard delivery. It's their GPS and so they should just Complete it. I have good news for you. I have successfully processed the completion of your order. Please reload the Walmart app. Thank you. Woo! I don't know why it's so difficult with them. Okay, good. Now, now we're we're cooking with oil or grease or however you want to say it. Doesn't really matter. All right, let's move on to the next. You got it. Excellent. Get the door free. Thank you. All right, easy money. I always deliver to them maybe a few times a month. So yeah, that was the easy drop off. We just got a spark water of round robin, $15 going eight miles a month. Plus it's a Walmart that's even further than where I'm at. So we're gonna decline that one and then wait for another one. In the meantime, I am a little hungry. I'm probably gonna get some breakfast now. I'm gonna find some place to get some breakfast and maybe some orange juice and uh, Keep it moving. There's something really good about a Dunkin' Donuts bagel with cream cheese. I don't know what it is, but this is their bagel with cream cheese and I got a sausage on there. It's absolutely fantastic. So anyways, that's what we're gonna have with a little bit of OJ. So anyways, all right, we are still waiting on uh, work. Pull it up here and said see, but see, uh, we're still waiting on something. We we uh, didn't get any Spark. I think we we actually didn't get any DoorDash either. So uh, no Instacart. So everything is pretty much dead. This is not even my area that I like to be in. Usually round robins in this area come on the 30 and on the hour as well. So who knows? We might get it. We have a few more minutes uh, before the uh, the hour. So. Now let's go back closer to that area and see if we get a, a round robin. I'll tell you, let me take these off. I just dealt with uh, my pharmacy for medication and they, why is it so difficult to get medication between your pharmacist and your doctor? There's always an issue. Uh, I just spent like 30 minutes talking to the pharmacy. It just, uh, doctor's not sending correct information over and the pharmacy can't read the information. They don't understand. And then they charge me outrageous prices. It just, it's unreal. Anyways, we got McDonald's order, uh, $6 go 1.3 miles. I think I will take that because I just need something right now. So we will go ahead and accept that. It's a McDonald's 1.3 miles. Not that bad at all for $6. Uh, after that, then we're going to hopefully go back to our normal area and maybe get some Instacart. We did not get anything from Spark for the top of the hour and even at the regular, at the bottom of the hour, we didn't get anything either. So what can I say? I'm, I need to focus on Instacart, not on Spark, but, or even DoorDash, but this is an easy run. So let's go pick up McDonald's. Sorry about that. Yeah, they, well, so what I heard from the back was they gave the last hash brown out. And I apologize. And then they said that you had two hash browns? Did you have one or two? Two. Yeah, two, okay, because on my app it only says one, but they were completely out. I apologize about that. Have a great one. All right, guys, so that was actually a really good one. $6 show and $12, what well, we ended up with. Uh, this lady, she is so nice. Uh, I, I deliver to her all the time. I've done Grubhub, I've done Uber Eats, and I've now done DoorDash. She always tips very well. Gotta love it. Uh, but she's always very friendly as well. So, and she's always at the door waiting for her food. It's a shame. The manager, or I think it was the manager, said that there's no hash browns. Who, how do they not have any hash browns? It's still morning. It's nine o'clock in the morning. 
I think someone just messed up and forgot to put them in the uh, in, in the greaser or whatever. I, someone forgot to do something. Uh, I, I find it hard to believe they don't have any more hash browns during breakfast. It's McDonald's, right? Anyways, uh, that was $12. Uh, let's go back to the grocery area and see if we can get an Instacart. All right, guys, so I got this order, right? So I'm not getting anything from Instacart, but I got this uh, DoorDash. You probably can't say it. Let me just screenshot it. It's $18.95 going two and a half miles, 29 items shopping at Acme. Without looking at the item count to dollar ratio, is that something you would take? I don't think I am just because 29 items, if it was like 19 items, maybe I'm, I'm torn because I'm not getting any work. I don't know if that was maybe like eight, nine dollars more or if the item count was like 10 items less, I think I would have taken it. But it's gone now. Uh, as of right now, we're not getting anything. I think that was the first DoorDash in like you know, 10 minutes. And then we, we we start getting, now we're getting $4 going three miles at Chick-fil-A. I'm not a big fan of that. Plus it's probably like 50 cent tip. So I hate being picky, but at the same time, we're not getting anything, you know, it's like, but I also, I want to get Instacart. Like Instacart is, is the job for, and it went up. Look at that. The same order. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll screenshot it. $4.50. It went up 50 cents in what? Five seconds for the same three miles. I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it, but we, I got so many more Instacart offers to do. Oh, uh, I just, I, I'll take the, oh, at this point, I'll take the $7 runs. Just give me $7 for a mile, a couple items, three, four, five items. And, and let me just do those all day because I need to stockpile on these Instacart. I'm not gonna do this, it's $5.25 for three miles at McDonald's. Right now, McDonald's is, uh, eh, it's not doing too well. I mean, especially for breakfast, they're out of hash browns. I don't get it. All right, we just gotta accept anything. Uh, we did get this $19.83 going at ShopRite and then going to PetSmart. Looks like it's 14 items for two people, so it's not too bad. Seven and a half miles. Again, I just need Instacart, so it's a double. I would like to have had the triple, but let's do some shopping at ShopRite, then go to PetSmart, and I don't even know what they wanted at PetSmart. We'll find out in a little bit, and you know, make this drop off and continue making that money. Let's go. You know, <laughs> why does, all right, why does Instacart like be weird like this. So they're making me go to PetSmart first and then ShopRite. I, I looked at the items at ShopRite. There's nothing frozen. It was a fruit and a few shelf stable items. You should be able to skip or do like grocery first before the PetSmart. It's on the way to PetSmart is the, uh, the customer's houses. I don't get it. Anyways, now we're in the ShopRite parking lot, but we got to go to PetSmart first. Whatever, let's do it. You know, looking back at it, I mean, this this order is pretty horrible. It's pretty trashy. Nineteen dollars going seven and a half miles, and you still got to shop at two different stores. Man, but I at the same time, when I think about it, it's like I need Instacart. I mean, I need. I mean, two is two. Even if I get this done in uh, an hour. I'm not looking at the dollar amount. I'm looking at how many deliveries I can make, right? And that's, it's it's all a mental game right there. Like, what are you, what's your goal? If you start worrying about, oh, I gotta make as much money and I gotta get the delivery sold. And when you're multi-apping, it, it's, it's that FOMO game that you're playing. And then it's that, you know, just mentality of, uh, that's gonna screw you up, right? You, you're mixed up in the head by thinking you need to get all of this stuff done. You gotta have a plan, right? gotta have a plan my plan going into this month and and obviously going to be for next month is i have to get deliveries i have to get the number of deliveries for instacart can't worry about making 250 dollars in this market i'm not going to bring in 250 dollars on a weekday it's just not going to happen maybe on a weekend it's going to be with spark it's going to be with large orders on doordash and stacking those what am i focusing on am i focusing on the dollar amount or am i focusing on getting diamond cards but when I look at this order, it sucks. But at the end of the day, that's what you got to think about. Anyways, we're here at PetSmart. Let's go shop. Deliver. No peanut butter. All out of peanut butter. Oh, man. All right. They're going to get the large. 
sunshine, right? That's, That's the good thing. You got it, absolutely. All right, easy money. Not the best of the orders. It went up to 20 instead of 19 something because of the peanut butter Kong. We had to get a larger one, but $20 and it took 49 minutes. Not the best timing either. Two things, $20 made, it's in the pocket, right? And then two, we got two drop-offs and deliveries for Instacart today. I'd like to get two more today and then, yeah, I'll at least hit my daily goal. Instacart is doing a promotion today, which I hate looking at promotions on Instacart because they are the worst. <laughs> they, uh, they, they're, they're garbage promos. And even today, it's a garbage offer. They, they're doing six guaranteed uh, for $56, which, come on now. It's under $10, uh, which means that even in this one, this was a double and it was eight something. If I had all those, I probably would still maybe even make pennies uh, on a bonus. So what a, what a piece of trash promo today is. But either way, I don't really look at the promos too much. Uh, we're just going to keep moving on and try to get at least two more Instacart deliveries. That's what we're trying to do. So a couple more minutes and we'll see what we can get in a little bit. It's really going to make it difficult when you have days like today where the sun is bright, shining greatly out there. And, Man, I, I just want to go right down to the beach and just relax. It's going to be really tough during the summer, I'll tell you that. It's it's going to be tough, and it always is. I always just like, especially when it's like 90-some degrees out and you're working on a weekday and you're just dragging your feet. You just want to put your feet in the ocean and call it a day, right? Man, I'm not looking forward to it. I might, and my wife brought it up. She, great point by her, work down there. I mean, especially during the summer, when there's so many people down there, DoorDash is always going to be kicking. And if you're working grocery, I mean, that's good as well. I mean, you'll work some grocery, you won't be working Madhouse. But then again, even up here in my neck of the woods, people go down the shore. They're, they're not really up here when it's really hot out, especially during the, the weekends. So it's not even worth working up here as much as some days. So. You know, it might be it might be a really good idea to just work down the shore area, the beach, and just take it easy. Maybe just like get a place for the week and just relax and then work and then go home, well, home and uh, re relax and on the beach. I mean, that's that's the life, right? Eh, we'll see. We got a couple more months for that. Let me read this to you. Uh, I have all the screenshots I'll show to you. So I, I turn on Roadie just to see what's out there, right? And I see this order. Take a look at this. $69.49 going 124 miles, right? It's going from Philadelphia all the way up to Uniondale, New York. Two hours, 25 minutes. It's only two items. And it, I'm going to show you now the photo of what they are. It looks like wipes. That's it. Two boxes going two and a half miles and they're paying that much. Now, first off, it's not even that great. It's not great at all. I mean, whoever does that is you're either you either live in New York and have to go there and you're in Philadelphia for whatever reason. And you're like, oh, well, you know what? <laughs> That's a trip for me, right? There's no way you're going to go all the way out there, 120 some miles, which right now it's midday. I can just imagine the traffic up there. And then you're gonna deadhead all the way back, another 124 miles, mm, I don't think so. Um, and then I got this Instacart offer. Let me know down in the comments whether you would take this. $34.34, 34, 28 items. Now, it's only because I've been saying I need Instacart and I need triples. So it listens to me and says, whoa, Hybrid Hustler needs some triples. We're gonna send them some triples. All right, not the best offer. 
Uh, we just spent a good half, uh, DoorDash, I don't want to see it or hear it. Uh, we just spent about a good 25 minutes on Chuck from Dashing Across America's live stream. Hey, he's doing really, really good. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to him, I know most of you have, uh, but if you haven't already and you're just watching my stream somehow, uh, go visit Dashing Across America. Chuck is a fantastic streamer, a uh, fantastic content creator. You know, he keeps it simple and that's what's great about it. It. He makes the work look easy, which we know it's not. Uh, but yeah, we were just on his live stream, just chatting away and just seeing what he was doing. We got this $10 shop right. It's something in the books. I know it's not that great. Um, three items. So we're just going to head over to DoorDash. I don't want to hear it. Three items. I don't even remember what the mileage was, but at this point, I just needed an extra one. We'll probably gonna call it after this anyways because um, we just need four instacart and this will be our fourth instacart all right guys i got a funny story <laughs> uh i'm in shop right i'm picking up this order and uh not a big deal everything's fine it's only three items i'm going through the baby aisle and a customer i mean i've never seen this customer before uh comes up to me and says oh you've you've lost a lot of weight and I've never seen this customer before. I don't know what you want, Thasher, but uh, no, it's not even worth it. Uh, so <laughs> the customer just like randomly just comes up to me. I, I don't know if I, obviously I look like someone that they knew. And, and she continues to go on and, uh, and on and on and on. And really didn't even like give me a time to say, I don't know who you are, but she goes, uh, yeah, you, you've been looking real good lately. Uh, and, you know, I, I've just been noticing you that you've lost a lot of weight. Now, I'm a big guy. I, I know that I'm a big guy, but I don't think I've lost that much weight over any period of time lately. So, and I, again, I had no idea who this person is. So I guess she started to realize because I started taking my glasses off and she looked me dead in the eyes and goes, I don't think that's you that I'm thinking of. And I was like, yeah, I'm not sure, but I appreciate the uh, compliment. She goes, you look good either way. <laughs> oh, Uber, Uber. What do we got? What do we got from Oops? Uh, not taking two dollars, five miles. But I thought that was funny. I mean, it's a chuckle. I, I've had people tell me, I've had employees tell me uh, that I look like I lost weight because I shot there a lot. So, I mean, that's always a good feeling, but when you have no clue who the person is and it's a random person in the aisle, I've had people talk to me, asking me about my kids when I was in the baby aisle before, but I don't have kids. <laughs> so, I mean, that's funny too, I guess. I just thought that was a, a pretty funny moment and I, I chuckled for like a second. Either way, it was three items we picked up. Uh, in and out of the checkout lanes. I think it was like within like five minutes we were in and out. So DoorDash, what do we got? $9.75 going eight miles. That's not going to happen. I would like to stay out longer, actually. I, I really would. It, it's such a nice day out. It's 42 degrees out right now. If it, It's not windy, but you have that nice calming breeze just like a nice wind right up against you but it's not super cold i like that i like this a lot it's also it's not warm but the sun's out and it's beating on you so you get that little bit of both like cool cool breeze with the warm sun nice little combo All right, easy money, easy drop off, no problems at all. There was a little thing, there was no address number. It was weird, it gave me the street name, but not the uh, number, so I had to reach out. They gave me the number really quickly, no problem at all. This is a nice little area. This is a 55 and older community. Uh, very, very quiet, very nice around here. So I deliver here all the time, but easy money, we, that's four deliveries, that's hits on the cart, but hey, you know what? Let's just drive it in a little bit more. Maybe we can get uh, a double or even a triple. That would be fantastic. That's what we need. We need those triples. We need those doubles. We just need anything to, um, to hit our goal. I just want an Instacart. You know, give me an Instacart to my neighbor and I'll take it. You know, even if it's six, six or seven dollars, I take it. Give it to me. 
Remember I was talking earlier about Instacart having a promo going on. Uh, my promo sucks. I think it's, uh, what did I say it was? It was 50, wait, hold on, hold on. $58 and six. I mean, that it's, it's dumb, but look at the screenshot. This is from the Instacart shoppers Facebook page. $155 to do six? Man, you just take those easy rounds and you're making money. That's good bank right there. Everyone's commenting like, I only got 48, I only got 55, I only got 60. $155 in Queens area. I don't know if they just are absolutely desperate for shoppers or if there's some big orders going on, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Someone will take that and say, yeah, let's do it. And then the first offer comes up as $215. <laughs> it's been it's been one of those days, all right? Mondays and Tuesdays. It seems like I've been saying that more and more lately. Uh, it's been one of those days, right? I've been, just been saying it. I got, a, I got an Instacart. It's $14.83 going 9.7 miles with 12. It's a two shop at Aldi and ShopRite. Man, I mean, I'm desperate, but I'm not that desperate. Nah, I can't take it. I, someone else can have fun with that. All right, guys, I think that's it. And we're gonna call it for today. Yeah, it sucks. We, uh, just nothing for grocery. I, you know what it is, it's in the morning. And in the afternoons, you get nothing. In the mornings, you get it. And in the evenings, you get it. In the afternoon, I would say after 12 o'clock, it is bone dry for Instacart. It is what it is. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be working in the evening, not until the spring. So we're just gonna have to, uh, you know, take it day by day. Uh, we're gonna call it here. We, I think we, we ended up with 80 some dollars and you know, it, that's work, it's money. But hey, listen, I just wanna thank every one of you guys, each and every one for coming along and, and watching and liking, commenting, subscribing. It really means a lot to me to, to see this type of growth within a month. I mean, literally we started January 18th. Uh, it is now two days after the one month and, and we're growing. We, we got a lot of subscribers. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm, sharing my point of view right and there's so many other people out there doing the same thing and you guys come along and join with me i do this for fun i enjoy what i do i enjoy all the other things that i do as well uh but gig work is just an interesting little little side work that i do and you know to be able to present what i do and show you and bring you along with me on the, these ride-alongs it's fun, you know, and I don't make this a, a big career. I make this uh, as something that gets me out of the house a little bit, gets me out of the house so I can just get that sunshine and, and walk a little bit, you know, but I really appreciate you guys and all you gig workers out there really, really hustling to all my hustlers out there. Keep grinding, keep pushing, keep getting those orders and keep making that money until next time. I'll see you down the road.